God bless you so much. My name is Queen Liz. I'm a gospel minister. Thank you so much for being here. You are highly welcome. The agenda is we are serving thousands of people, millions of people out of abusive marriages. So please share this video. Let it go far because you are going to save thousands of people. You are going to save millions of people out of abusive marriages. God bless you so much for doing that. Listen, polygamy is dangerous. Polygamy is not a good thing. Polygamy is deadly. One lady shared her comment under her videos. She said, Queen Liz, God bless you so much for these programs. And I have a testimony. She is a Muslim. She said, when I was about to get married to my husband, I told him that no other woman aside me. And I asked her, are you sure of what you are saying? She said, yes. You can, you can read some of her comments. It is there. I communicated with her under those comments. She said, yes, it is true. And I said, so how is it now? She said, we've been married for 10 years and I'm the only wife. And we are still counting. We are happy. We are blessed. We have sound mind. Our children are happy. The whole family, we are all happy. She knew what was in polygamy. And she said, no. And the husband accepted it. And he is a Muslim. And I said, bravo. You've done very well. She said, yes, I stood on my grounds and it worked. And we thank God for that. And that is what we want to hear. There are so many bad things about polygamy. And most of the marriages that are yet causing problems for other people to solve is out of polygamy marriage. I'm telling you. And most of the children that are so violent, the women that are so much violent, the men are violent, they are, they are uh, they are restless. All, all are part of polygamous marriage. I'm telling you. Listen. They become unhappy. How can I be happy if my, my husband is going to marry another woman? And it is this tradition. So the tradition will bind you and you'll be quiet. But deep within you, you don't want it. You don't like it. But because of tradition, you have to be quiet for the other marriage to go on. The women become very lonely. I'll get up in the night. I want my husband by myself. And my husband will be by another woman. Because the days have been shared among us. I am Thursday. She is Friday. She is Wednesday. So any of those days. If I want my husband. Zero. He's not around. Loneliness. Sense of competition. So some of the women have become witches. I'm telling you. They are running from native doctors to native doctors. Fake pastors to fake pastors. Juju men to juju men. Because they want to hold, capture the heart of their men. So they have to work. There is competition. Nobody is saying, yes, today is competition, so, so let's compete. But automatically, so far as there are other women, they are competing. And let me tell you something. Some of, sometimes the children, the girls in the family, the female ones, they rise up and start to fight the fight of their mothers. So there's this rivalry between them and their stepmothers, even though they are not marrying their father. But they have to fight because if the mother and father become one, they will also have right to so many things. There is this step, there is this stepmother who told her husband that the children of the uh, children from the other women are not the man's children. So the man must do DNA on the children. And since then it is in the mind of the man. The man sees his own children and he's thinking, no, these children are not mine. And, and within his heart, he's already angry with the children. So education, the children couldn't go high. He was not there to help them. Even though he was having the means he would not do. He was not giving those children the privilege that he was giving to the other children. Because he has heard from a woman he loves so much that his own children are not his children. This is what polygamy can cause in the society. And some of the children, they get mental disorders. They cannot concentrate in the school. If these things are going on, you want to be a lawyer, you want to be a doctor, you want to be software engineer, you want to do all those kind of things. You have to go to school, especially in Africa, you have to pay school fees and you need somebody to be there for you. Why 
is it that most of the children, if their parents die, their mother died, their father died, sometimes they drop out of school. It means the couple must come together and take care of their children. Because sometimes it is very difficult for only one person to be doing those things. And if it is one man married to a lot of women, no matter how much money he's having, even if the children don't suffer in terms of marry, uh, 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 sorry, money, psychologically they suffer. And the women, they also get psychiatric disorders. Because they'll be thinking, what is this woman thinking about me? What is this woman saying about me to uh, 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 my husband? How is my husband seeing this woman? Is he seeing this woman better as me? And if they are sitting, most of these women, they are very competent. They can do so many things to help the society. But they cannot broaden their mind. So every now and then, their minds are surrounded around their marriage, their children. This polygamy marriage. They'll be fighting until they are old. They will still be fighting for their marriage. And this is what polygamy can do in the society. That is why I'm saying it is deadly. You have not come to the point as a woman whereby the only option is to die. Because your, your husband is maltreating you because of other women. Your husband is not taking care of you and your children because of other women. So the only option is that your heart is broken. You feel lonely. You feel unhappy. Okay? You, you feel you are competing, unnecessary competition, and you give up. The only option is to die and go so that you have your peace of mind. I'm telling you today, don't die. Don't die. We are on it. Keep listening to these messages that I'm giving you. And by the grace of Almighty Elohim, your problems will be solved. It is not by my power. Do you understand? Some of these children are so brilliant, they'll also be fighting within. They'll be fighting for their mother. They'll be fight. Some of them love their father so much. Some even go and become together with their step-parents than their mother. They will start to please their step-parents so that their fathers will love them. And their, their mother's hearts will be bleeding. They'll feel uncomfortable. Why is it that my own children are pleasing other women? Yes, the children have no option because if they don't do that, their father would stop taking care of them. They have seen that their father loved that woman. So if they show love towards the woman, their father will also love them. This is what I'm telling you. I read an article and I laughed about you, Idochi. He said, uh, since he got married to second wife, God has blessed his wife, May, and God has opened so much avenues for the woman. She's now known and she's signing deals and it is uh, uh, by the grace of um, polygamy because before then she was not having those things and it is a good thing and she has, uh, he has apologized to the wife and so on and so forth. Let me tell you, you cannot magnify polygamy. No matter what you do, it is ugly. No matter what you do, it is not a good thing. No matter what you do, it is deadly. I am telling you. Call those people who are victims of polygamy. And let them come and talk. Call them. Some of the children who died because their hospital bills were not paid by their fathers. Some of, ba some of the babies whose fathers were with other women in the night. Okay? When they got sick. And the father must help. The woman was restless, okay? Everything was uh, not in order for the woman and she, she, she needed help so much because the man was not there, that baby died. You've not seen anything. So if I'm talking about polygamy, I don't believe you sit there and say something otherwise than what I'm saying. Let those people who have experienced this thing come out. Share your comment down there. Tell them, tell them and let them know the negative side, the ugly side, the deadly side of polygamy. So that if somebody come and stand and magnify polygamy and say polygamy is a good thing, you, ha you get a lot of children. It is not a good thing. And polygamy cannot stop uh, 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 fornication or, or be adultery. Some of the people, they go, they have these side chicks, okay? The women are their side chicks. And if they are being caught, then they turn it into marriage. Okay, then let me marry her to be my second wife. They are with their wives and they'll be going out with other women. And if they are being caught, then they'll say, okay, okay, now that my, my wife has found out, I have to get married to this woman so that I get second. Who, who told you that second wife can stop 
uh, fornication. Second wife can stop uh, adultery. Ask those people who are who are who have been married to first, second, third, fourth wife. If they see other women, don't they have the last for those other women? It doesn't stop it. You need to be disciplined. Be with one wife. Save your family. Save your children. Because of tomorrow. Because if you are dead and gone, the confusion that will be in the family, generations and generations unborn cannot come and solve those problems. We will continue. God bless you so much. My name is Queen Lit. Okay? Share this video. It will bless somebody out there. God bless you. Like the page Queen Lit Music on YouTube, Queen Lit Music on Facebook. Like and follow the page TikTok, Twitter, Instagram. The name is Queen Lit Music. Follow us. We have a lot for you. You are blessed.